Prepare to enter a realm where every click, every transaction, and every online interaction carries the weight of hidden cyber threats. Get ready as we unveil a comprehensive video showcasing the major cybersecurity events that unfolded in June 2023. This compilation will keep you informed and on the edge of your seat. Idaho Falls Community Hospital and Mountain View Hospital in Idaho have experienced a cyber attack, leading to the diversion of ambulances for more than 24 hours. The attack occurred earlier this week but was quickly detected and stopped by the hospital's IT teams. However, the computer systems are still in the process of being restored. As a result, clinicians at Idaho Falls Community Hospital have resorted to paper charting, and some connected clinics have been temporarily closed. The hospitals have not disclosed the exact nature of the attack but stated that abnormal workflows will remain in effect until they are confident that the virus has been fully removed. For more accurate and up-to-date information, it is recommended to consult reliable news sources or contact the hospitals directly. Toyota recently revealed that it exposed the data of more than 2 million customers to the internet over a decade. Now, the automotive giant has uncovered another breach, affecting an additional 260,000 car owners. The data leak was caused by a misconfiguration of Toyota's connected cloud service, which provides internet services to its vehicles. The exposed data includes in-vehicle device identifiers, vehicle registration details and mapping data, but not location information or personally identifiable details. Customers who purchased vehicles from December 2007 onwards and had their data exposed between February 2015 and May 2023. Furthermore, customers in Asia and Oceania, outside of Japan, may have had exposed. Toyota will inform these customers in compliance with local laws. Toyota plans to apologize and notify these customers separately. Antivirus company Dr. Webb has discovered spyware called Spin Oak in over 100 Android applications on the Google Play Store. The spyware offers mini games, tasks, and prizes to keep users engaged. These apps had a total of more than 421 million downloads. Spin Oak, disguised as a marketing SDK, collects information, sends files to attackers, and steals clipboard content on users' devices. It connects to a command and control server, obtains device information, and receives URLs for displaying advertising banners. The module can access files, upload them, and manipulate clipboard content. Some popular affected apps include Noise, Zapia, VFly, MVB8, and Biugo. Google has been notified and has removed some of the infected apps. Keep your apps and OS up to date and caution when downloading, granting permissions. Reporting on May 4, 2023. Middlesex County Public Schools in Virginia recently confirmed being a victim of a ransomware attack. Located in Middlesex County, Virginia, the school district serves approximately 1,220 students across elementary, middle, and high school levels. The impact on daily operations has been minimal so far. The attack was claimed by the Akira Ransomware Group, who reportedly stole around 543 gigabytes of data from the school's website. Superintendent Dr. Seitz emphasized the division's focus on determining if any personal information of students or staff was compromised. In a separate incident, Franklin County Public Schools also experienced a ransomware attack. Additionally, the U.S. Marshal Service was targeted by a ransomware attack in February this year. Reporting on June 5, 2023, Global Casia, a major lender in Spain, is currently facing a ransomware attack that has affected multiple offices. The bank, which has over 300 branches across Spain and serves nearly half a million customers, confirmed the attack. The Play Ransomware Group has claimed responsibility and stated that they have stolen confidential data, including client and employee documents, passports, and contracts. The bank has implemented security protocols, leading to the temporary limitation of some operations and disabling certain office posts. Spain has experienced an increase in ransomware incidents in 2023, including an attack on a hospital in Barcelona and a Spanish amusement park company. The Play Ransomware Gang, known for targeting government entities in Latin America, has also attacked various companies in Europe, the city of Oakland, and the Massachusetts city of Lowell. Reporting on June 6, 2023, 
The Moonlight Satellite, developed by the Aerospace Corporation in collaboration with the U.S. government and other organizations, is set to become the world's first hacking sandbox in space. This will create opportunities for professional hackers to test vulnerabilities. This satellite will be launched by SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Moonlight aims to enhance cybersecurity understanding for space systems and features a firewall to isolate its payload for offensive and defensive cyber exercises. It will serve as the staging area for the Hack A Sat 4 competition, which will take place during the DEF CON Security Conference in Las Vegas. Moonlighter's deployment represents a significant milestone in space cybersecurity and is expected to contribute to the development of more resilient spacecraft and architectures. Reporting on June 6, 2023, hackers from North Korea are engaging in spoofing activities targeting financial institutions and venture capital firms in the United States, Vietnam, and Japan, according to new research. The campaign has been linked to APT38, a state-sponsored North Korean hacking group known for targeting cryptocurrency firms. The researchers discovered multiple domains and malicious files associated with the campaign. North Korean hacking groups have a history of financially motivated attacks on cryptocurrency exchanges and commercial banks. The recent campaign is notable for its spoofing of venture capital firms, which is a new approach for App38. The hackers aim to expose sensitive information and generate funds for the North Korean regime, which faces international sanctions. The researchers predict that North Korean hackers will continue launching financially motivated attacks due to the country's financial constraints. Reporting on June 6, 2023, the Caribbean island of Martinique, controlled by France and part of the European Union, has been hit by a cyber attack causing disruptions for weeks. The local council acknowledged the impact on the community and partners, isolating affected systems and seeking help from cybersecurity experts to restore operations gradually. Education services are working on solutions to restore internet access for schools while financial services are finding alternative ways to issue orders and process payments. The attack began on May 16 and affected internet access and infrastructure. Aid and subsidy services require paper-based filings due to the unavailability of online platforms. The Reseda ransomware group claimed responsibility for the attack, leaking stolen government data. They pose as a cybersecurity team, exploiting vulnerabilities while claiming to assist victims. Reporting on June 6, 2023, the Caribbean island of Martinique, controlled by France and part of the European Union, has been hit by a cyber attack causing disruptions for weeks. The local council acknowledged the impact on the community and partners, isolating affected systems and seeking help from cybersecurity experts to restore operations gradually. Education services are working on solutions to restore internet access for schools while financial services are finding alternative ways to issue orders and process payments. The attack began on May 16 and affected internet access and infrastructure. Aid and subsidy services require paper-based filings due to the unavailability of online platforms. The Reseda ransomware group claimed responsibility for the attack, leaking stolen government data. They pose as a cybersecurity team, exploiting vulnerabilities while claiming to assist victims. Reporting on June 6, 2023, Outlook.com is currently facing a series of outages, believed to be caused by hacktivists known as Anonymous Sudan performing distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks on the service. These outages follow major disruptions experienced by Outlook users yesterday, affecting their ability to access emails and use the mobile app. Users have expressed frustration on Twitter, citing the negative impact on their productivity. Microsoft, the parent company of Outlook, initially attributed the outages to technical issues but later acknowledged the ongoing problem. Anonymous Sudan has claimed responsibility for the attacks, protesting the U.S.'s involvement in Sudanese internal affairs. They have taunted Microsoft, demanding a payment of $1 million USD to stop the attacks and provide cybersecurity expertise. Reporting on June 6, 2023, Outlook.com is currently facing a series of outages, believed to be caused by hacktivists known as Anonymous Sudan performing distributed denial-of-service attacks on the service. 
protesting the U.S.'s involvement in Sudanese internal affairs. These outages follow major disruptions experienced by Outlook users yesterday, affecting their ability to access emails and use the mobile app. Anonymous Sudan posted to their Telegram channel, Microsoft, today we played football with your services. Let's play a fun game. The fate of your services, which is used by hundreds of millions of people every day, is under our dominion and choice. They have taunted Microsoft, demanding a payment of $1 million USD to stop the attacks and provide cybersecurity expertise. Reporting on June 7, 2023, analysts suggest that the Lazarus Group, notorious North Korean hackers, may be responsible for a $35 million cryptocurrency heist from Atomic Wallet. Blockchain analytics firm Elliptic has attributed the incident to Lazarus Group based on similar techniques used in previous attacks. The hack affected less than 1% of Atomic Wallet's monthly active customers, which amounts to a small fraction of its 5 million users worldwide. Stolen assets were laundered using services previously utilized by the group. The specifics of the attack remain unclear, but it is believed that a bug in the wallet provider's application exposed users' private keys. This theft is significant due to its size and is the first major crypto theft attributed to Lazarus Group since a $100 million attack in 2022. Reporting on June 7, 2023, YKK, the world's largest zipper manufacturer, confirmed that its U.S. operations were targeted by hackers. However, they were able to contain the threat before significant damage or data compromise occurred. While YKK did not explicitly confirm a ransomware attack, the Lockbit ransomware gang posted the company's name on their leak site, threatening to release stolen data. YKK assured stakeholders that personal or financial information was not compromised and expressed gratitude for their trust. Lockbit is a highly active ransomware gang, responsible for numerous attacks globally, with over $100 million in ransom demands issued. Reporting on June 7, 2023, over 100,000 employees in Nova Scotia's healthcare sector fell victim to a data breach caused by a vulnerability in Progress Software's MoveIt file transfer application. The stolen data includes sensitive information such as social insurance numbers, addresses, and banking details of employees from Nova Scotia Health, the Public Service, and the IWK Health Center. The perpetrators, known as the CLOP, CL0P ransomware gang, have claimed responsibility for the attacks. This group has targeted the BBC, British Airways, Boots, and Aer Lingus. The vulnerability is a SQL injection zero-day vulnerability that was disclosed by Progress Software at the end of May 27. It is advised that organizations using MoveIt need to be patched. The stolen information could be leveraged for malicious purposes. Reporting on June 8, 2023, Ex-Marseille University, one of France's oldest institutions, recently fell victim to a cyber attack, resulting in staff being unable to access the university network. The attack, believed to have originated from a foreign country, prompted the university's security systems to detect the intrusion and shut down the network before significant damage could occur. It was reported that the network was intentionally taken offline to disrupt the attack and prevent potential data breaches. However, the process of gradually restoring services is expected to continue, but no specific timeline has been provided. Ex-Marseille University, located in southern France, has a rich history dating back to 1409 and is currently the largest university in the country with approximately 80,000 students. The specific details of the attack are unknown including whether any data was stolen or if an extortion note was issued. Reporting on June 8, 2023, in Singapore, hackers have targeted another company just one week after the Goldheart customer data leak. This time, luxury retailer Curtina Watch has been attacked by a hacker named Basterlord. Through a tweet, Basterlord claims to have stolen 2 gigabytes of data and is now holding the company ransom. He specifically mentions that wealthy clients wouldn't want their addresses made public. Basterlord has also shared a sample of the stolen data on Twitter, which includes customer names and email addresses. The compromised data was obtained from Curtina Watch's website contact form, which was stored on their compromised servers. 
Baster Lord, a man in his 20s from Ukraine, is associated with the hacker group National Hazard Agency and is known for dealing in ransomware. Cybersecurity firm Analyst One has linked him to multiple major ransomware gangs. Reporting on 9, 2023, the Swiss government is grappling with a potential data breach after a ransomware attack targeted software provider Xplain. Headquartered in Bern, Xplain offers IT services to the Swiss Army and government departments. The attack, allegedly carried out by the Play ransomware gang, occurred on Saturday. Initially, Xplain denied any compromise of government data. But authorities in Zurich have now confirmed the possible leakage of information on the dark web. The Swiss government has acknowledged that operational data of the federal administration could be affected. D. Despite the breach, Xplain has taken a firm stance and refuses to negotiate or pay the ransom demanded by the attackers. The incident is currently under investigation, with Switzerland's National Cybersecurity Center informed. The Play ransomware gang is notorious for its tactics. The San Francisco 49ers have settled a class action lawsuit resulting from a data breach. The breach occurred in February 2022 when the Black Bite ransomware gang attacked the NFL team, gaining access to sensitive information. Three separate lawsuits were combined into one, and the settlement papers were filed in California federal court. The settlement allows affected individuals to claim up to $2,000 for ordinary expenses and up to $7,500 for extraordinary expenses. Class members will also receive two years of identity protection services. Data breaches often lead to class action lawsuits, causing additional challenges for businesses. The Service Employees International Union and Maxim Healthcare have also faced similar lawsuits recently. Reporting on June 10, 2023, the University of Manchester, one of the UK's largest universities, recently fell victim to a cyber incident where hackers gained unauthorized access to its systems and likely copied data. The university expressed apologies. Internal teams, assisted by an external support company, are currently investigating the extent of the data breach. While it is unclear whether it was a ransomware attack or an attempt to steal sensitive research, the university advised its 40,000 students and 12,000 staff members to remain vigilant for phishing emails. The incident has been promptly reported to relevant authorities, including the Information Commissioner's Office, the Office for Students, the National Cyber Security Center, and the National Crime Agency. The impact on the university's highly restricted data service, which protects sensitive research data, remains unknown at this time. Reporting on June 10, 2023, Illinois' Department of Innovation and Technology said, recently suffered a ransomware attack caused by cyber criminals exploiting a vulnerability in a widely used file transfer system. The attack, attributed to the CL0P ransomware gang, occurred on May 31st. They exploited a previously unknown vulnerability in the MoveIt transfer system, infecting web applications and stealing data from databases. Illinois' Department of Innovation and Technology disconnected affected systems and initiated a forensic analysis. The full extent of the incident is still being determined, but it is expected to impact many individuals. Once finalized, a public notice will be issued, and a call center will be set up to provide assistance to those affected. Reporting on June 10, 2023. In the world of cybercrime, a notorious group called CLOP, believed to be based in Russia, has issued an ultimatum to British and other targeted companies. This comes after a significant hack that compromised payroll data of over 100,000 employees from organizations like the BBC, British Airways, and Boots. The group, known for its cyber exploits, posted a notice on the dark web in broken English, warning affected companies to contact them before June 14th or risk having their private data exposed. The hackers gained unauthorized access to databases by exploiting a popular business software service called MoveIt, affecting numerous companies worldwide. Among the victims were Aer Lingus, the government of Nova Scotia, and the University of Rochester. Experts at Microsoft have attributed the hack to CLOP based on their analysis of the techniques used. Reporting on June 12, 2023, the Kaiserslautern University of Applied Sciences, HS Kaiserslautern, 
has become the latest German-speaking university to fall victim to a ransomware attack. The incident, confirmed on Friday, resulted in the university's entire IT infrastructure being taken offline, including email accounts and the telephone system. Almost all services available to the institution's students have been affected, with computer pools and the library remaining closed until further notice. The university has warned students and staff not to switch on their work computers, as they may also be compromised. Several other German-speaking universities, as well as private companies, have experienced similar attacks in recent months. Companies like Rheinmetall and Bitmark, as well as drug development giant Evotech, experiencing similar incidents in the past months. Reporting on June 12, 2023, Switzerland's federal administration was hit by a cyber attack on Monday, causing disruptions to the websites of various authorities and state-linked companies. The finance ministry confirmed that the same, no-name, group responsible for a previous attack on the Swiss parliament carried out this latest attack. The attack, known as a distributed denial-of-service (DDoS) attack, flooded the websites with malicious traffic, making them inaccessible. The National Cyber Security Center NCSC, is collaborating with affected units to analyze the attack and determine appropriate measures. In a separate incident, a technology firm called Xplain, which supplies software to government departments, experienced a ransomware attack. The firm attributed the attack to the Play Ransomware Group, which also targeted Swiss media outlets. Reporting on June 11, 2023, Cybersecurity firm Obsidian discovered a successful ransomware attack on SharePoint Online, Microsoft 365, through a compromised admin account. The attack was carried out by a group called Zero Mega, who gained elevated privileges and removed existing administrators. The attacker stole files and uploaded preventleakage.txt files for communication and extortion. Obsidian believes this type of attack may increase due to inadequate SaaS security programs. Implementing multi-factor authentication MFA, is crucial, but even with MFA, attackers can exploit stolen credentials. The report suggests strengthening SaaS controls, minimizing privileges, revoking risky integrations, and analyzing audit logs to detect breaches or insider threats. AI presents both risks and opportunities for cybersecurity in organizations. 1. Advanced attacks. Adversarial machine learning techniques can be used to bypass AI-powered defenses by exploiting vulnerabilities in the algorithms themselves. 2. Data poisoning. AI systems rely on large amounts of data. If attackers manipulate or poison the training data, they can introduce biases or trick the AI into making incorrect decisions. 3. Lack of transparency. Some AI models, such as deep neural networks, are considered black boxes, making it challenging to understand how they reach their decisions. 4. Insider threats. AI systems often have access to sensitive data, and insider threats can exploit AI capabilities to steal or manipulate this data. Professionally crafted and humanized emails can be produced. Reporting on June 12, 2023, a Romanian hacker named Mihai Ionuț Panescu has been sentenced to three years in a U.S. federal prison for his involvement in running a bulletproof hosting service called PowerHost.ro. This service helped cyber criminals distribute malware, including the Gozi virus and Zeus Trojan, for stealing financial information. Ponescu rented servers and IP addresses, allowing cyber criminals to remain anonymous and launch attacks. He was also accused of enabling other cyber crimes like DDoS attacks. Ponescu was detained in Colombia after being arrested in Romania in 2012. He pleaded guilty to lesser charges and must forfeit $3.51 million. Two other operators involved in the Gozi malware were previously arrested but released. The malware's source code leaked online in 2013 and is now used in various bank attacks. Reporting on 15, 2023, Shell has confirmed being impacted by a breach carried out by the Klopp ransomware gang, targeting the MoveIt file transfer tool. This is the second time Shell has been targeted by Klopp. The company stated that their core IT systems were unaffected, but a small number of employees and customers were affected. 
Other organizations in the UK, including the BBC, British Airways, and Boots, were also affected by the breach. Ofcom, the country's communications regulator, had some confidential information and employee data compromised. Transport for London, which operates public transport in the capital, has also confirmed being impacted by the incident, with personal data of up to 13,000 drivers being stolen. The Klopp gang aims to extort companies by threatening to leak stolen information. Progress, which develops MoveIt, has announced a second vulnerability affecting the software. Reporting on June 15, 2023, Floating Point Group, FPG, an institutional trading desk specializing in cryptocurrencies, recently suffered a cyber attack resulting in a substantial loss of approximately $15 million to $20 million in crypto. FPG had implemented security measures, including engaging external auditors for cybersecurity audits and penetration testing, which earned them a SOC2 certification. Upon discovering the breach, FPG promptly secured all wallets and locked third-party accounts. The firm's account segregation strategy helped mitigate the overall impact of the attack. As a precautionary measure, FPG has temporarily halted trading, deposits, and withdrawals. To address the incident, FPG is collaborating with the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, regulators, and Chainalysis. Reporting on June 15, 2023, a new version of the Gravity Rat Android malware has been discovered, disguised as messaging apps BingeChat and Chatico. The malware targets military personnel in India and the Pakistan Air Force, posing as cloud storage and entertainment apps. This chat app not available on Google Play Store, Gravity Rat tricks victims into downloading the malicious apps through fake personas on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Once installed, the malware secretly collects sensitive information from the infected device and sends it to a remote server. What sets this new version apart is its ability to steal WhatsApp backups and receive commands to delete specific files. The threat actor behind Gravity Rat is suspected to be based in Pakistan and has been targeting military personnel in India and the Pakistan Air Force by disguising the malware as cloud storage and entertainment apps. Reporting on June 16, 2023. Top U.S. cybersecurity officials have confirmed that multiple federal agencies have been impacted by cyber attacks on the file transfer tool MoveIt. The attacks, orchestrated by the Klopp ransomware gang based in Russia, have compromised several entities. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency CISA, is working with the FBI to assist the affected agencies. While the extent of the breach is being investigated, CISA reports no significant impact on the civilian.gov enterprise. The vulnerabilities in MoveIt are being exploited to steal information stored in the application at the time of intrusion. The Department of Energy confirmed a data breach and is cooperating with law enforcement and CISA. The affected agencies have not been disclosed, but the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant and Oak Ridge Associated Universities are among those mentioned. Reporting on June 17, 2023, New Zealand-based payment solutions provider SmartPay Holdings experienced a ransomware attack last week. The company has conducted an investigation and confirmed that customer information from Australia and New Zealand was stolen from its systems. SmartPay has enlisted the services of cybersecurity specialist CyberCX and is cooperating with the government in addressing the incident. SmartPay's shares traded 0.3% lower following the news. In the fiscal year 2022, the company processed over 78 million transactions valued at 2.7 billion New Zealand dollars, $1.68 billion, marking an almost 80% increase from the previous year. This ransomware attack adds to a series of cyber attacks that have targeted various companies in Australia and New Zealand over the past 10 months with Medibank Private Limited and Singtel's Optus among the most heavily affected. Reporting on June 17, 2023, a 20-year-old Russian national named Ruslan Astemirov has been arrested for his involvement in the Lockbit ransomware attacks. He allegedly targeted victims worldwide from August 2020 to March 2023, executing at least five attacks. Law enforcement traced a ransom payment to Astemirov, leading to his arrest. 
This is the second arrest of a Russian national associated with Lockbit in the past six months. If convicted, Astemirov could face up to 20 years in prison and a significant fine. Lockbit ransomware, linked to Russia, has conducted over 1,400 attacks globally, demanding over $100 million in ransom payments. The Lockbit gang is considered a major cybersecurity threat, accounting for 16% of attacks on U.S. public entities in 2022. Reporting on June 20, 2023, Reddit, the social media platform, has been threatened by the Black Cat Alf B ransomware group. Reddit has confirmed that these claims are linked to a security incident in February, where hackers accessed internal systems through a phishing campaign. The hackers claim to possess 80 gigabytes of stolen data, which they will release if a ransom of $4.5 million is not paid. Additionally, the group demands that Reddit cease charging third parties for API usage. The compromised information primarily included limited Reddit code, employee contact details, and some advertiser data. The ransomware group alleges that Reddit ignored their previous attempts to communicate. It is uncertain whether Reddit intends to pay the ransom. The Black Cat Alf V group is associated with the Dark Side ransomware group, known for the Colonial Pipeline cyberattack and Casepoint and NCR. Reporting on June 20, 2023, the European Investment Bank I, and the European Investment Fund (EIF) have experienced a cyber attack, causing the EIB's website to go offline while the EIF's site remains accessible with a different appearance. The I, which provides loans within the European Union, confirmed the attack and is working to address the situation. Last year, Luxembourg's main energy supplier Encevo faced a similar cyber attack where hackers published client data on the dark web. The hackers responsible for the IBE attack, known as the Black Cat Group, previously targeted Encevo and threatened to release stolen data from Italy's GSE Energy Agency. The IBE is a vital financial institution, employing over 3,000 people and issuing billions of euros in loans annually. The city of Fayetteville, Arkansas is currently dealing with a suspected cyber incident, causing most of its digital municipal services to be taken offline. Essential services like police, fire, and emergency services remain unaffected. The city's information technology department is actively addressing the issue, but online services are expected to be unavailable for a few days. Utility bill payments must be made in person with cash or check, and virtual attendance for public meetings is not possible due to the outage. Fayetteville has hired three cybersecurity firms to assist with the incident. This cyber attack follows a trend of similar incidents in other U.S. cities throughout 2023, resulting in service disruptions and the compromise of resident information. A state-sponsored espionage campaign has been using new custom malware to monitor remote desktop protocol RDP, connections and infect connecting clients with a backdoor, according to cybersecurity firm Bitdefender. The campaign, likely linked to threat actors based in China, began in early 2022 and involves two custom tools written in the Go programming language. The malware, known as RD Stealer, captures data from infected machines and has a unique capability to infect RDP clients with client drive mapping CDM, enabled. It deploys a backdoor called Logitel, which evades detection using DLL side loading techniques. The backdoor establishes persistence, communicates with a command and control server, and executes various commands. This campaign represents a shift from off-the-shelf malware to custom tools and highlights the ongoing threat of state-sponsored cyber espionage. Reporting on June 23, 2023, Capital One has confirmed that it was affected by a cyber attack on NCB Management Services, a company that purchases debt. Over 16,500 Capital One customers had their personal information leaked, including addresses, social security numbers, and account details. The affected individuals were offered two years of free identity monitoring services and identity theft restoration. The breach notification letters were filed by Capital One with regulators in Maine and Texas. NCB had ignored cybersecurity concerns prior to the attack. The breach affected nearly 1.5 million individuals, exposing sensitive financial data. But no ransomware group has claimed responsibility. 
a consumer rights law firm has filed a class action lawsuit on behalf of victims whose Bank of America credit card information was accessed. Reporting on June 24, 2023, the University of Manchester has confirmed a criminal cyber attack where data belonging to current and former students was stolen. The incident was initially disclosed on June 9, with the university warning that hackers had gained unauthorized access and likely made copies of data. It is believed that a small portion of data related to students and alumni has been copied. The university has contacted those individuals who may have been affected. A group claiming responsibility for the attack has sent threatening emails, but it is unclear if the threat is genuine. The exact number of affected individuals and the nature of the stolen data have not been confirmed publicly. The university has advised its students and staff to be cautious of phishing emails. They are actively working with authorities and experts to investigate and address the breach. Reporting on June 24, 2023, the English language cybercrime marketplace, Breach Forums, had its domain seized after its alleged administrator, Connor Brian Fitzpatrick, was arrested by the FBI. Fitzpatrick, known as Pompompurin, was charged with conspiracy to commit access device fraud. Breach forums facilitated the trade of stolen information and hacking tools, with over 340,000 members. Fitzpatrick's victims included millions of U.S. citizens and American companies. Another administrator, Baphomet, initially claimed ownership but later shut down the forum. The FBI disrupted breach forums. Baphomet stated that law enforcement gained access through Pompompurin's account. The actions against Fitzpatrick and breach forums were part of an ongoing criminal investigation involving collaboration between the FBI and international law enforcement agencies. Reporting on 25 2023, hackers targeted California's public pension systems, CalPERS and CalSTRS, compromising the personal information of retirees and beneficiaries. Approximately 769,000 individuals were affected, with their names, social security numbers, and birth dates stolen. The breach resulted from a vulnerability in a vendor's cybersecurity system. The hackers claimed many organizations worldwide were victims, with around 100 organizations confirming data theft. The breach also potentially exposed information about members' employers, spouses, partners, and children. The third-party vendor responsible, PBI Research Services plus Berwin Group, informed CalPERS of the breach on June 6. The hackers exploited a vulnerability in the vendor's software. Progress Software, the software developer, is facing lawsuits alleging negligence. Reporting on June 26, 2023, in Fort Worth, a recent hack is being investigated by computer forensic experts. The hackers targeted the city's internal system used for managing maintenance activities and publicly released hundreds of files, including photos, spreadsheets, invoices, and emails. The city believes the attack was a political statement meant to embarrass them due to Texas's stance on gender-affirming care. The hackers claimed that Texas was targeted because it banned such treatments for minors. According to the city, in its post, the hacking group included the message, we have decided to make a message towards the U.S. government. Texas happens to be one of the largest states banning gender-affirming care and for that, we have made Texas a target. This incident follows a ransomware attack on the city of Dallas in May. Fort Worth is now working to assess the extent of the theft and the impact of the hack. Reporting on 26, 2023. Russian internet service providers have blocked access to Google News after President Putin accused the leader of the Wagner paramilitary group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, of organizing an armed rebellion. At least five Russian telecoms are implementing the block. Wagner group mercenaries reportedly entered Rostov on Don from Ukraine and are advancing towards Moscow. Prigozhin, who also funded the internet research agency involved in Russia's 2016 U.S. election interference, vows to overthrow Russia's defense ministry in response to an alleged missile attack by the regular army in Ukraine. Putin considers Prigozhin's rebellion a serious threat and promises severe consequences for those involved. Western tech firms faced service blocks in Russia following the Ukraine invasion, with Facebook and Twitter being partially or fully blocked since March last year. Reporting on June 26, 2023. 
astronauts on the International Space Station have achieved a breakthrough in water recovery, reaching a 98% success rate. This is crucial for sustaining astronauts without relying on resupply missions. The Environmental Control and Life Support System ECLSS, played a key role, using an improved method to extract water from urine. The system also collects wastewater and moisture from the air. The recovered water is processed, filtered, and stored for the crew to use. Importantly, the water produced in space is cleaner than what we have on Earth. This achievement is significant for future space missions, enabling longer stays on the Moon and manned trips to Mars. By regenerating resources, astronauts can focus on their mission without worrying about limited supplies. Reporting on June 27, 2023, law enforcement officials announced that over 6,500 suspects have been arrested three years after a successful operation to hack the EncroChat encrypted communication service. EncroChat was widely used by organized crime groups in Europe. EncroChat was a communication platform that offered encrypted services to its customers, who predominantly consisted of criminals. For a fee of approximately €1,000 per device, customers were provided with modified mobile phones designed to protect their privacy, with features like removed cameras and GPS functionality. The operation resulted in the seizure of significant amounts of cash, assets, and drugs, including millions of pills, tons of cocaine, cannabis, and heroin. Ongoing prosecutions and court cases based on the intelligence gathered from EncroChat are taking place in the UK and across Europe. Reporting on June 27, 2023. Calgary-based oil and gas company Suncor Energy Inc. has experienced a major cyber attack possibly the most significant breach in Canadian oil and gas history. The company has provided limited information about the attack, but customers reported issues using credit, debit cards and accessing services at Petro-Canada gas stations. Suncor's Petro Points app and website were also temporarily unavailable. Cybersecurity experts believe that these public-facing problems may indicate a larger cyber incident, potentially impacting internal operations as well. The CEO of a cybersecurity company compared the situation to the Canadian Colonial Pipeline breach, emphasizing Suncor's significant role in the Canadian economy. In 2021, a ransomware attack successfully targeted the Colonial Pipeline, the largest pipeline system for refined oil products in the U.S. Reporting on June 27, 2023. A recent report reveals that Ukrainian government and military entities are being targeted by the Blue Delta campaign, attributed to Fancy Bear, a USB-propagated malware campaign linked to the Chinese-based espionage group Camaro Dragon, has been discovered. The malware spreads through USB drives, causing collateral damage. An Android banking trojan called the Natsa has expanded its target to include banks in the US, UK, and Germany. The Trojan is distributed through malicious apps on the Google Play Store and enables fraud by collecting sensitive information and performing device takeover fraud. Lastly, a Pakistan-aligned threat actor named Transparent Tribe, targeting the Indian military and education sector. It came to light after the arrest of a senior DRDO scientist for leaking sensitive information to Pakistani agents through a honey trap scheme. Reporting on June 27, 2023. A recent report reveals that Ukrainian government and military entities are being targeted by the Blue Delta campaign, attributed to Fancy Bear, a USB-propagated malware campaign linked to the Chinese-based espionage group Camaro Dragon, has been discovered. The malware spreads through USB drives, causing collateral damage. An Android banking trojan called the Natsa has expanded its target to include banks in the US, UK, and Germany. The Trojan is distributed through malicious apps on the Google Play Store and enables fraud by collecting sensitive information and performing device takeover fraud. Lastly, a Pakistan-aligned threat actor named Transparent Tribe, targeting the Indian military and education sector. It came to light after the arrest of a senior DRDO scientist for leaking sensitive information to Pakistani agents through a honey trap scheme. Reporting on June 28, 2023. A Russian cybersecurity expert named Nikita Kislitsyn was detained in Kazakhstan at the request of the United States. 
The reasons for his arrest are unclear, but he has been charged with selling usernames and passwords belonging to American customers. Nikita Kislitsyn, an employee of Russian cybersecurity firm FACCT, was detained on June 22 and Kazakh authorities are considering Washington's extradition request, the company said in a statement. A Moscow court issued an arrest warrant for him on separate charges related to unauthorized access to computer information. Russia also plans to seek his extradition from Kazakhstan. Hackers often flee to former Soviet countries to avoid prosecution. Kislitsyn frequently traveled abroad and his company believes there are no legal grounds for his detention. Reporting on June 28, 2023. A Russian cybersecurity expert named Nikita Kislitsyn was detained in Kazakhstan at the request of the United States. The reasons for his arrest are unclear, but he has been charged with selling usernames and passwords belonging to American customers. Nikita Kislitsyn, an employee of Russian cybersecurity firm FACCT, was detained on June 22 and Kazakh authorities are considering Washington's extradition request, the company said in a statement. A Moscow court issued an arrest warrant for him on separate charges related to unauthorized access to computer information. Russia also plans to seek his extradition from Kazakhstan. Hackers often flee to former Soviet countries to avoid prosecution. Kislitsyn frequently traveled abroad and his company believes there are no legal grounds for his detention. Reporting on June 29, 2023. A group of previously unknown hackers has claimed responsibility for a cyber attack on Dozor Teleport, a Russian satellite communications provider used by energy companies and defense services. The company has been disconnected from the internet since Wednesday evening, and its website is currently down. The hackers, who claim affiliation with the Wagner Group, have leaked confidential information and damaged satellite terminals. Experts express skepticism about the Wagner Group's involvement. Restoring the network could take weeks or months. This attack follows a similar breach on Viasat during Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Some Russian websites were also defaced, allegedly by the Wagner Group, but doubts remain. Reporting on June 30, 2023. Google has decided to remove links to Canadian news stories from its search, news, and discover services, as well as halt its news showcase in Canada, in response to the newly enacted Bill C-18. This law requires tech companies to negotiate compensation with publishers for linked content. Google considers the legislation unworkable and unduly harsh compared to other countries. It emphasizes the importance of a thriving journalism industry and proposes policy ideas to support it. This move follows Meta's decision to remove access to news content from Facebook and Instagram in Canada. Both companies view the threat of blocking news as a bargaining tool and hope to participate in the regulatory process for a viable solution. However, there is no guarantee of a compromise, as legislators are concerned about declining ad revenue for publications. Reporting on June 30, 2023, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC, has revealed a security incident involving one of its IT hardware suppliers. The Lockbit ransomware group claimed responsibility for the attack. TSMC stated that the incident did not impact its business operations or compromise customer information. The affected supplier, Kinmax, confirmed the cyber attack and apologized to customers for leaked information. TSMC has terminated data exchange with Kinmax and is investigating the incident with law enforcement. The Lockbit Group's demand of a $70 million ransom raised concerns, as they are known for their prolific ransomware attacks. TSMC reassured customers that their hardware undergoes rigorous security checks before installation. Reporting on 30 2023. The global automotive cybersecurity market is expected to experience significant growth in the coming years. Factors such as the rise of software-defined vehicles, increasing sales of electric vehicles, and government regulations mandating additional safety systems in vehicles are driving this growth. The wireless network security segment, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region, is projected to be the fastest-growing segment due to the incorporation of V2X technology and the demand for connected vehicles. The UDASH and safety system segment is expected to dominate the market, driven by increasing demand for UDASH and government regulations mandating their incorporation.
Asia Pacific is expected to have the largest share in the market, with countries like China, Japan, and South Korea leading in autonomous driving technology. Major automotive manufacturers in the region are focusing on safety features, 